Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the Neo Geo emulator. So we're just going to plug in our classic remote, navigate over to Neo Geo, and we're going to go ahead and click on start. And you're going to give it a second to load. It's going to load its BIOS, the ROM files, and all the other good stuff. So just give it a second. It's going to pull up a pretty basic looking list. Nothing really fancy, no covers or anything. So uh, from here, you just use the D-pad on your remote to scroll up and down. And there's pretty clear cut instructions there at the top for you too, but that's if you have the Wii remote. If you're using the classic remote, you just press A to pick a game or press the home button to exit as usual. So we're going to click on, let's try some Fatal Fury special here. Just go down to Fatal Fury special and press A. And give it a second to load. And it should boot right on up. Okay, now with the Neo Geo, this isn't the arcade. So you do only get four credits. And you're not going to press the select button to insert any more coins. So you're going to have to play these games if you want to play them. So this is just like the old Neo Geo console. So I think you press the plus or start button and it'll bring you in. And certain games map different ways with the controller. It just depends on what you're playing. So you're going to have to experiment. But I think most of them are on the YBA axis. I don't think the X button gets used too much unless a game calls for it. And the top buttons as well. And from here, if you want to go to another game, you just press the home button. And it'll bring you back to the menu. And you can pick another game. Or you just press the home button to exit and you can call it a day. Go play something else. And that's pretty much it.